Hello everyone, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and Sarah and I are really good friends. So she invited me to go live here on her page framed and paint something with you guys because she said you guys love painting videos. So I'm gonna be painting this really cute little crayon with flowers on it. And um, it's supposed to be kind of like an end of the year teacher gift kind of thing, but who knows if we're gonna get to go back to school in time for um, to give these to teachers. So you could make one and possibly give it to your teacher at the beginning of the fall semester if you don't get to go back to school this year. So um, I teach women how to paint door hangers and this is a smaller size. So this isn't really a door hanger size, but the one you see behind me is a the standard size of what I usually paint. But um, just for uh, fun here on, on Sarah's page, I thought I would come on and paint a cute little crayon. So I <clears throat> hope you guys enjoy this. Um, Sarah is also a proud affiliate of my Painters Clubhouse membership. And as you guys know, Sarah started out painting door hangers and um, she teach teaches or used to teach um, workshops inside her um, business in Texas. And so uh, some of you guys may be missing those kind of classes and wanting to do this sort of thing at home. So if that is you, um, I hope you enjoy this little video and would enjoy uh, painting one of these at home with me. I have a membership called the Painters Clubhouse where I teach women every single month how to paint door hangers. And so if this is a skill that you've been wanting to learn, I'm your girl, I can help you out with that. Um, I think we're gonna do this crayon kind of a turquoise color in in honor of Sarah and her like brand colors because that's kind of her color her signature color so we're just going to start out by painting um the whole thing with some white and then we'll go back and add some color in just a moment now all of my door hanger blanks that I sell come with the lines etched in the surface like this one here or you can get them with no lines but that is a lot more intimidating if you're just starting out so the etched design may be more um, along your speed and so um, whether you've never painted a door hanger before or you've been painting for a little while my painters clubhouse membership is the perfect place um, to advance your skills or to learn how to paint your first door hanger if you've never even painted before and so it is open today through Friday for new members to sign up. It um, only opens two times a year. We open in the fall and in the spring. And <clears throat> it is just a wonderful community of women that support one another. We lift one another up. And I know Sarah is a big believer in that sort of thing. And um, it's not even showing me y'all's comments. So I may have to pull this up on my iPad. been doing that lately when I go live on someone else's page for some reason it's not showing me comments so here we go let me get you pulled up because I'm sure you guys are talking to me and I like to talk back to you hey Sarah how are you girl See, thanks for painting with us today you're welcome um, Sarah has actually been a guest instructor in the painters clubhouse a while back she taught us how to paint a really cute rustic pumpkin and my style is a bit different from Sarah's but Everybody kind of has their own way of doing things, their own style, and so that is totally okay. And I love Sarah's style. Hers always has just a little bit of a like a rustic kind of feel to it, and it's always so chic. So um, it's just fun to watch her. Amy said, if you are considering joining Painters Clubhouse, do it. It's an amazing community of friends. Thank you, Amy. Amy joined us last fall, and I met her at the event we did in Nashville, Tennessee, which Sarah was a guest instructor at that, um, at that event. And Amy was telling me that she joined us for the spring door hanger challenge, or the fall door hanger challenge that we did, because we do a challenge every year before we open the Painters Clubhouse. So um, the challenge, we did it last week, and we actually painted one of these right here. And um, Amy was telling me that after the fall door hanger challenge, um, she ended up selling enough of the designs that we, we painted out, uh, we cut out and painted leaves. And Amy ended up selling enough of those to make an extra $300. And that, isn't that awesome? And now Amy is um, a member of our Painters Clubhouse and she has been so successful in her small town. I think she told me there's only 300 households in her little bitty town and she has been having eight to ten parties a month and so I'm sure that's come to a bit of a standstill right now but um with all of the coronavirus stuff going on but at least you can still be painting at home and selling uh, the door hangers online or possibly teaching virtually like I'm doing now 
Helen said, you will never regret joining. It has been a lifesaver for me. Thank you for saying that, Helen. Let's draw this real quick. Okay, so let me show you real quick. Now that we have it all covered in white, you can still see the lines, see that? So I can still see where the flowers go and all the different designs. It's harder to see on video, but I can see them really well in person here. So um, let's paint the actual um, design on the, the crayon first. Let me pick a color that's kind of close to Sarah's turquoise. I have this one and it's close, but it's not quite. So I'm gonna mix a color. Let's see. Yeah, we may do this one. This one's called Sea Breeze. And then we may mix it um, to make a slightly darker color in a moment. But first, I want to do some polka dots on the main part of our crayon. So I'm going to get one of these little sponge craft sponges from Walmart. They're like little sponge polka dots. And I put some paint on it. And then I've scraped the excess off. Um, sorry, still trying to make sure I can see your comments. Facebook's acting crazy. Stop it, Facebook. Facebook's been a little a little wonky lately. I think it's overwhelmed with the amount of people who are hanging out here. Um, okay, and so we're just going to take our little craft sponge and we're going to just do little dots everywhere on the inside part of our crayon. Just like that. And then, um, let's see. Let me, I may do, i am got to look at my example photo. <laughs> okay, and then I may have some up here and here. And then we're just going to paint over the odd areas where it got off the lines. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a smaller flat tip brush. Here we go. And we're going to darken our paint just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of this bluegrass green. It's a little bit dark for Sarah's brand colors, but... We're gonna mix it with the sea breeze and then it might be just right. There we go, that's looking like a nice framed teal color. Much closer, let me get a baby wipe. Baby wipes are running out. I heard Walmart's been running really low on them and I'm, I need to go get some more. Somebody's hoarding them. Like the, paper, like the toilet paper issue, but with paper towels. Okay, so now we're gonna just take our flat tip brush. It's a much smaller one. And we're going to paint in the areas where um, there's lines here to kind of separate the crayon from the different parts of the crayon. So in the Painters Clubhouse membership, we teach you two door hanger designs every single month. One is always taught by me and one is taught by a guest painter. But then we also have things like um, how to paint flowers or how to add glitter to your door hangers, how to take better photos of your door hangers or how to do leopard print, which I know you guys, if you follow Sarah, love leopard print. Um, so it's lots of fun. We do lots of different um, different techniques and things every single month so that you can advance your skills and use those techniques on any other door hanger that you're painting or working on. Um, and then starting in April, we're gonna start having like a business tip of the month kind of thing that we give out so that for those of you who are thinking about starting a business and need just a little bit of advice or a little bit of help, I'm gonna be giving business tips, uh, one business tip every month for you guys. Um, let's see. Amy said, my daughter works at Walmart and has been given orders to check every day to see if there are any baby wipes. <laughs> so you're out of baby wipes too, huh? But the community, uh, inside the Painters Clubhouse is my favorite part about the whole thing. It's just a wonderful group of women who support one another. We lift one another up. We don't believe in looking at each other as competition. So even if there's two people in the group who are in the same hometown, we choose to link arms and um, lift one another up and encourage one another instead of thinking of one another as competition. And honestly, I think it has blessed everyone's businesses by doing that. And it's just encouraging. It makes it to where it's not as scary to um, share your ideas, to share your tips, to share your photos inside a group like that because you know everybody's got your back. 
And if we ever have anybody inside the group that is negative or not like that, we give them the boot. We don't tolerate that kind of thing. So some of you guys right now are stuck at home on quarantine and you're probably sick of it. And you're probably uh, needing some sort of distraction or uh, something to kind of take your mind off of all of this. And painting is a great way to do that because it, it's very therapeutic. It makes, it forces you to kind of become present in the moment and to stop focusing on all of the negative things that are going on and to focus on the positive things. And so, like I, I was talking about this on my Facebook Live this morning over on my page, um, there's something about painting something and I, by the way, I'm going to use an all deco art Americana craft acrylics. If you need to know what kind of paint to use, matte, ac matte acrylics are great. This one is called Wildberry. Um, if you need something at the end of the day to feel like you accomplished something, because for me, when I was stuck at home with my little kids, with, with my boys, um, while my husband was deployed to Afghanistan, I needed at the end of the day to have something that made me feel accomplished and, you know, doing the dishes or the laundry is only going to go so far in making you feel like you've really done something. Because as you know, with little kids in the house, there's always more dishes, always more laundry. And so it's easy to feel bogged down in all of that. And like, you're not making any headway because like someone said on my Facebook live this morning, cleaning your house while your kids are at home is like trying to brush your teeth while eating Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, doing that sort of thing can be very discouraging sometimes if you're not making any progress or feeling like you're getting stuck in it. And so, at the end of the day, if, if I had, even if I had left all the dishes undone and focused on painting for a day or, you know, didn't make the beds, at the end of the day, if I had something beautiful to show for it that I had painted, it made me feel so much better. Okay, this is what we got going so far. So, we're painting our flowers. We're painting two flowers this color, and then we're gonna paint another flower yellow and another one purple. So let's put a second coat on this one. But painting not only can be very therapeutic and help you be present in the moment, but it can give you a sense of pride and accomplishment. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of self-esteem, um, a little bit of a, a mood boost, it can really help with that. Um, there's been many women in our Painters Clubhouse group who struggled with feeling like, feeling like they were just stuck in this being a mom and not, um, and not that there's anything wrong with being a mom, but like they lost their sense of self through being a mom and a wife and they rediscovered it through painting. Let me draw this. one of the women that was at our event in Nashville was telling us that um, her husband could tell a difference in her after she had been in Painter's Clubhouse for a few months. He said he could tell that she was getting back to being the old version of herself, like the, the, the person he fell in love with. And so that is so important. Like that is so impactful. I, I'm just you know, that is not something that, like, I thought about or planned whenever I started the Painters Clubhouse. I didn't think about it as being a way for women to um, connect with their true self. But it's kind of been a side benefit that we didn't expect. And so, so many of these women have started to feel like they have discovered who they are again. And that their husbands are seeing it in them. And they, they can see that their wives are happier um, because they have something that's all their own. And the Painters Clubhouse does that for these women because they have like a community that they can connect to. They have door hangers that they have produced and something to be proud of besides just the laundry or besides just the dishes. Um, and I want you to think about like a year from now, what do you want to have taken away from this difficult time in your life? For me, while my husband was deployed to Afghanistan, I could have sat around and cried all the time or watched Netflix and just tried to like forget that, you know, 
that I was going through this difficult time, but I instead chose to distract myself with painting and with crafting and inviting women over to paint with me. And while right now you probably can't invite anyone into your home, you can distract yourself with painting. You can connect with an online community like the Painters Clubhouse, and it will help so much with your mood, with your outlook on this whole situation, because right now we don't know when this is gonna end. We don't know if this is going to last um, another two weeks or if it's gonna last three more months. And um, that can be kind of discouraging. It can make you feel like you're in a funk. And so if you don't have something to focus on right now, it's really gonna start to affect your mental state after a short period of time, especially if you're home homeschooling your kids. Hey, Anna, how are you, girl? Um, Amy said, it's the same even with no little kids in the house. That's good to know. So even if you don't have any little kids in the house, you can easily become kind of discouraged being, um, you know, stuck in this, this limbo that we're in right now because we can't really get out of the house and go do the things we enjoy or possibly even go to work. Um, I don't leave the house for work. I leave the house to just get away from the house for, for a while. And I have not left the house in seven days. I haven't left since last Wednesday. I've been having the postal guy come to the house to pick up all of my orders that I'm shipping out. Um, I've ordered things from Amazon. Anytime I needed groceries, my husband has gotten them while he was out and about. So we, me and the children have not left the house in seven days and that can take its toll. Thankfully, the kids have been, knock on wood, <laughs> little angels throughout all of this. They they really have not been bad at all. The first day was the roughest, and then after that, it was like we all just fell into a routine, and they've, they've been doing really great. So after we get off here, I've got to start them on their homeschooling work. But if I wasn't able to escape in here for an hour or so each day and do a little bit of painting, talk to you guys, um, connect with the members of the Painters Clubhouse, I don't know what I would do. Because that has been my saving grace is the fact that I have this business. I have something on the side I can focus on besides just the housework, besides just the homeschooling, and besides the fact that I don't know when this is going to end. <laughs> okay, I am using, what color is this called? Hauser Light Green, and I'm just painting my little leaves. I'll show you up close in a moment, and then we're going to add some really fun little flower details on here. Isn't this cute? So this is what we've got going on right now. And then we're gonna add some details in a moment, but we've gotta get it dry so we can add a second coat on these leaves. <laughs> Karen said, you are two of my favorite people, you and Sarah, thank you. Sarah is my best friend, like in business and in life. I started to say like my best friend in business, but it has really gone beyond that. Sarah and I are friends in our real lives too. Um, we are, we can relate on so many different levels and we just get along so great. <clears throat> but she is the, one of the first people I turn to when I need help with my business or when I need, a, you know, somebody to just vent to. And so, um, I love that, you know, you said Sarah and I are one of your favorite people to watch because Sarah is one of my favorite people. <clears throat> Good grief. <clears throat> Had a frog in my throat. And as you guys know, I'm a big affiliate for her t-shirt club. And um, I adore wearing her shirts. <clears throat> Beverly said, I'm behind on the times. I'm a member of the t-shirt club, but I had no idea there was a Painters Clubhouse group. Um, so the Painters Clubhouse group is my membership. Sarah um, has been a guest in there, but it's not her membership. She's just an affiliate for it. Um, because she is such a big cheerleader and supporter of mine. She wanted to be an affiliate for it. And she said, since I'm not really teaching painting workshops in my store anymore, she said, my people miss that. And I think they would really love your group. And so she was sweet enough to invite me here on her page to kind of talk to you guys about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, to just tell you the basics about it, we teach you two door hanger designs every single month. You get the templates, and a template is a printable that you print out at home on your printer. You uh, tape it together, and then you cut it out, and you trace it on your wood. Um, it works best if you put graphite paper underneath to transfer the design 
to your wood. And then, um, then you cut it out with like a jigsaw or a scroll saw. And we teach you that part of it. So if you've never done that before, don't panic or be worried about it because it's not as hard as you think. Matter of fact, um, one of the ladies on my video this morning over on my Facebook page was saying that she had never even used a hammer before she joined my group. And now she's cutting things with a jigsaw and she's so like empowered and proud of herself for that. And so, um, a lot of women are finding out that it's not as hard as they thought it was going to be. Now, if you're just like not ready for that and you just want to learn how to paint, we do have the option for you to buy the, uh, the blanks from us mailed to you um, in our shop. And we have a 20% off discount code that Painters Clubhouse members can use as many times as they want on any blanks and templates in our store. So um, there is that extra added benefit if you don't want to cut your own shapes. And then of course we also teach techniques in the group every month. So along with the two door hanger uh, tutorials that you get, you also will be learning, ooh, this needs shaking. You will also be learning um, different techniques that you can apply to any door hanger you might be painting. And if you sign up by tonight, by midnight tonight, you will get access to the um, three bonuses that we are offering. One of those bonuses goes away each day until Friday, and then Friday is the last day to sign up. So if you wait until Friday, there's not going to be any bonuses left. But if you sign up today, you get all three of the bonuses. And the bonuses are, um, one of them is a set of temp stencil cut files that you can use to cut your own stencils at home. Um, it's the word welcome, hello, and hey, y'all. Now, if you don't want to cut your own stencils, you can print them out and use them as traceables. So, for instance, on this door hanger or this little shape right here, I could use the word hello or hey, y'all, and it comes in four different sizes on the traceable. There's six, in six inches, eight, 12, and 16. So, on this size, you could use um, a six inch size, hello, or hey y'all, or something like that, and just put graphite paper underneath it, trace the letters on here, and then just paint on them. Paint right over them so that it's it's kind of like um, your own hand lettering, even though it's not your hand lettering. And so it's kind of a, a way around that if you don't, uh, if you're not comfortable with hand lettering. The second bonus, and I'm just dipping a little bit of white into my pink here and swirling it together to create a lighter shade of pink. The second bonus is a free template for the 3D flower pot shape that we have in our shop. And uh, I'm gonna be painting that live on my page in the next couple of days. So if you come and follow me over at Southern Adornments Decor, you can watch me paint it. Um, and then the third bonus is a free tutorial from my shop. So you can um, paint right along with me on any of the, one of the tutorials that's in my shop. Okay, now I'm mixing a little bit of white with my purple. Just creating a really nice lilac color. And I'm just gonna use that to kinda, see, we don't get super fancy up in here. Look at these flowers. These are not fancy. We're just taking, and we're with a round tip brush, just making some little petal shapes all the way around. But it's the final touches that really are gonna make this look super cute, the black and the white that we are gonna do. <clears throat> what is your site called? Southern Adornments Decor on Facebook or southernadornmentsdecor.com. And I've put the link to join Painters Clubhouse up in the um, description of this video. It's Sarah's affiliate link. So if you're gonna sign up and you've watched the video here, please use her link so that she gets credit. Now I'm gonna use this marigold color. It's a little darker of a yellow. It's kind of a golden yellow. I'm gonna use that to add just a little bit of detail to these little yellow flowers. And then we'll be finishing it up. I'm not sure I understand. Siri thought I was talking to her. What in the world? <laughs> okay, let me show you. So see my yellow, my pink, and my purple flowers, and I added a little bit of dark green to the leaves for detail. Now we can dry this and add the black and white finishing touches, which are gonna be super easy. Pink 
So these paint pens are my all time favorite. I just ordered another set of them on Amazon and they came in the mail the other day. This is a set of six pens for $24, I believe. It comes with two of the jumbo size, one black, one white, two of the medium size, one black and one white, and two of the smallest. We're gonna be using all three sizes, I believe, on this door hanger. So I'm gonna start with the largest one, which is the black jumbo. Let me show you the size of this tip. It's pretty big. And you can also use a Sharpie for this sort of thing, but Sharpies dry out really fast and it'll kind of ruin your Sharpie. So if you're in a pinch, you can use a Sharpie, but you're gonna wanna invest in some of these if you haven't yet. So let me show you just how quick and easy we can add some really cute little details and outlines to this door hanger. So now I'm just taking, whoops, I totally got off the line, but that's okay. We'll just go back over it again and make it a little thicker. Nobody will ever know, except you guys. Okay, so I just traced the outer edge of that pencil with the black. So this right here is what takes your door hanger from just being, eh, it's pretty cute, to, oh my goodness, that looks so professional because you're gonna make it, like you're gonna take and cover up all your little boo-boos. It's gonna be kinda like, um, it's kinda like coloring in a coloring book and adding the lines afterwards, if that makes sense. You love those pens. I do too, Sarah. Our friend Casey Hope introduced me to them and now I'm stinking obsessed. So as you can see, I'm just adding, I'm just pretty much just tracing right over the top of the lines that are etched in this shape. Okay, I think that's all of the main areas on the crayon. So I'm gonna put this back up and switch to a slightly smaller one. <clears throat> this is the middle size. So now I'm gonna use the middle size to trace um, the flowers and the leaves and things like that and to add some little details. And I try not to trace exactly on the etching lines on these just because I think it's kind of fun to just be whimsical with it. So let me show you what I just did. So see there, <clears throat> see what that did for the flowers? This is like before and after. And, oh, and I missed a leaf. And we haven't even added the um, white accents yet. Hang on, I got, you also wanna make sure your paint's really dry or it gets off on your paint pen. Some of my green leaf must not have been dry and it got off on there. So now I'm just tracing these but doing this is really going to pull it all together make it feel more polished look at that isn't that super cute okay let's put the hang on i got more paint on there I'll wipe it off on a baby wipe and then put the lid on it okay and then now we're going to use the white <coughs> I haven't opened this one yet. This is the middle size of the white. So it's the same size as the black that we just did. And this is a brand new one. So I've got to pump, pump it until paint starts coming out. Okay, I don't know if it's coming out yet or not. Let's, yep, it is, okay. So now we can just add a little bit of white. I'm not gonna add nearly as much white as I did with the black but this just kind of makes it where you can add some little highlights and it makes everything just kind of pop. My style of painting is very whimsical. I love using black and white to make the colors stand out. I'm gonna do some highlights here on these little polka dots. But looky there. Oh, hang on, I missed a couple dots. There and there, there and there. Okay, so we're, we didn't use the smallest size of the paint pens today, but we, we do sometimes. But look at the details. Isn't that super cute? And it's all those little details that really make it feel special. So this would be really cute um, 
even in a smaller size as like a hall pass for a teacher or as a larger size on her door welcoming her students into the classroom. Or possibly you could even create some sort of little stand for it or something to go on her desk with her name on it. So there's all kinds of uses for something like this. Um, but I just know a teacher would love receiving this as a gift. And so even if you don't go to back to school in the next month or so, you could create one of these and gift it to your teacher at the beginning of the year in August because um, they would love to receive something like this, I'm sure. But if you want to learn more about painting door hangers or painting on wood like this, come and join the Painters Clubhouse membership. It is a wonderful community and we would love to welcome you in. Um, you're gonna learn so much about painting, but you're also going to be transformed personally. You're gonna be able to look back at your Facebook memories a year from now and be like, wow, look how far I've come. Because I know personally, I've been painting for six years now, and I can look back at the very first door hanger that I painted and see how much I've improved. But not only that, I can look at that door hanger that I painted six years ago, and I can remember what my life was like six years ago. Like, I'm connected to my art in that way. Isn't that strange? I can look back. It's kind of like when you hear a song and when you hear a song, it makes you think of a memory. When I look back at a door hanger I painted, whether it was a year ago, three years ago, or six years ago, I remember the time of life I was in at that moment. I'm about to get teary talking about this. It's crazy. I can remember the time of life I was in at that moment and I can remember the hardships I was going through or the things I was thinking while I was painting. It's really strange. I can't explain it. But like, I know if I look back on this a year from now, I'll be able to remember having this chat with you guys and talking about how much Painters Clubhouse means to me. And I think it's just because painting forces you to slow down. It forces you, forces you to be present. It forces you to um, think about like things that are deeper inside of you at the moment instead of all of the things that are going on out here. And it's very therapeutic. It's so good for you. So if you want to come and join us, use Sarah's affiliate link up above. You have until Friday to do so. And don't forget, if you join by midnight tonight, you get all three of the bonuses. And um, we will get you added to the Facebook group no later than April the 1st. And you will get your bonuses by then as well via email. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you again soon. Thanks, Sarah. Bye, y'all.